we had the unprecedented attack um, of Iran on Israeli soil, which you might have seen my government has strongly condemned. Our attitude is very clear. Um, now it's time to de-escalate. Now it's time to try to bring tensions down. Diplomacy has to do the utmost to not further escalate uh, the spiral of uh, violence here. The Indian foreign minister and the German foreign minister had the same idea, namely to call both the Iranian foreign minister and the Israeli foreign minister. Both did it um, at the same time. The uh, 17 Indian uh, crew members who are uh, taken hostage by Iran and I know for sure that also my minister raised this issue with the Iranian foreign minister. Sir, we have seen developments over the weekend uh, in the Iran-Israel war. So what is Germany's stance on it and how do you see India's role in it? So uh, let me start by saying we had quite a tense and uh, um, a very worrying weekend, so to speak. Um, we had the unprecedented attack um, of Iran on Israeli soil, which you might have seen my government has strongly condemned. Um, our attitude is very clear. Um, now it's time to de-escalate. Now it's time to try to bring tensions down. Uh, we have to do the utmost. Diplomacy has to do the utmost to not further escalate uh, the spiral of uh, violence here. Um, I think that the Indian foreign minister and the German foreign minister had the same idea, namely to call both the Iranian foreign minister and the Israeli foreign minister. Both did it. Um, at the same time, and also I, I understand with the same message, namely de-escalation is, is of urgency here. Um, I want to say that in this context, of course, we um, uh, think of, of MSC Arise and the uh, 17 Indian uh, crew members who are uh, taken hostage by Iran, and I know for sure that also my minister raised this issue with the Iranian foreign minister. So, so if I talk about India and Europe, like they are becoming valuable partners in this multipolar world, so how would you describe the future of this unique partnership and how is Germany and India going to be partner in the near future? Yeah, I think that um, uh, Europe um, has a new role in India because India looks to your, towards Europe in a much more um, open-minded and much more positive way and the same is valid the other way around. I think Europe more and more discovers India as a huge market for opportunities and, and potential and I think um, um, I see a, a really a rosy future when I, uh, if I may say, um, uh, for Europe and, and, and India, but also especially also for Germany and India, where we see in many, many, um, in many areas we uh, will deepen our, our already very deep relationship. We will uh, develop new f fields of cooperation and this will culminate um, in the second half of this year when the intergovernmental consultation will take place in Delhi and the Chancellor will come with a group of ministers of, of his cabinet in Delhi and we are looking very much forward to that. Uh, it's about uh, like the Europe is now looking towards East and elections are taking place in India. Uh, very, very briefly on elections, let me yeah. say we are very excited about elections. It's the biggest election in the world. It's starting on Friday. We'll have seven weeks of, yeah. um, uh, uh, you know, going through the whole of India. It's a fantastic exercise, and we are very much looking forward to having the results of, by beginning of June. I think it's a, it's a great moment to witness for a foreign observer here.